handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Keeneland Racecourse here on opening day of the fall meeting. It is Friday, the 6th of October 2023. Gonna look at the stakes action from Keeneland, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the opening day stakes action here from Keeneland. Races 7, 8, 9. Some good action, some very wide open races. Let's get to it right now. The seventh race, it is the Stoll Keenan Ogden Phoenix Stakes. It's Ray 2 event going for a $350,000 purse. Races for three year olds and upwards. We have a field here of 11 horses heading to the main track the distance of ground of 1200 meters if you want to go by that or the distance of ground of six furlongs on the keeneland the main track 1200 meters six furlongs and i show the diagram it just gives me a second to look down and it's just bear with me i'm a little stupid i can't do two things at the same time especially at uh, 10 30 at night Top selection, I'm going to go with the three horse Sibelius. I'm going to go 10, 5, 7, 8 in the Superfecta. 10, 5, 7, 8 Super. Top selection, three horse Sibelius. Five year old gun by not this time. Jeremiah O'Dwyer trains. Luis Saez gets them out. The horse's most recent adding came the 28th of July, Del Mar. Six furlongs in the Bing Crosby. And he finished seven by four and a quarter lengths that day. And he was just wide stalking a little bit of a quick pace, which cost him that day. He just couldn't keep up. I think coming to a track that plays towards closures, I've noticed the last few fall meetings at Keeneland the closers have really done well on the dirt coming here we'll see a, a strong pace in front if you come from a little bit behind changing up the tactics I think he could find a, a, a win and I think he could find the winner circle here today um, and you know I think he could do well excuse me I think I'm getting pink eye or something my eye is so itchy on um, two back he ran in the R side he's at Churchill six furlongs third of June and um, he finished fourth by 11 a quarter lengths that day and he just kind of stuck that day he stalked that day he was a little bit wide first start back from you know Maidan he probably needed the race and then they ran him in the Golden Shaheen at made on six frongs 25th of march he won by a nose that day and he had a dream tracking trip it was an all-out fight to the finish switzerland who was a former asmussen horse now based in the uae was a winner of the um golden shaheen a few years ago good night great horse stateside really ran his heart out was the next start winner but this horse really powered through them all to get the job done a very good strong run there uh they took the tampa route to Maidan. ran him prior to that six furlongs in the pelican where he won by one quarter lengths with 100 uh, buyer that day he was flying on the front end that was a very good race on a very deep track prior to that on new year's even the mr prospector at goldstrom over the seven he uh, won by two and a quarter lengths and again a very good race that mr prospector at goldstrom by the way the last few seasons has been coming up very strong it wouldn't surprise me if it gets a great upgrade in the next few seasons so if you keep getting strong fields like we've seen the last two years especially in 2021 but uh, last year was a good field also he ran this race last year where he finished fourth by two lengths and he was just a little bit wide that day which cost him but he was coming off a very strong race a Pemlico race before in the light diffuse where he came back with a career best 106 buyer went by seven and a half lengths on the front and all throughout he was flying that day he's training quite nicely down in south florida since the last run i'm gonna give him a shot here on the ticket i think a wise guy horse also could be the five horse top gunner for gabriel saez and John Ortiz. John Ortiz has great numbers off the uh, long refreshing here, um, so watch out for this one. Um, you know, he hasn't been seen since the fall where he ran the bed of sunshine at Churchill with the six furlongs, where he finished third by three and a quarter lengths. Bango really ran terrific race. So Bellius, who finished second, of course, was next time winner. This horse just kind of, you know, dueled and just couldn't keep up late. Prior to that, he ran his heart on the Phoenix where he got caught in the stretch and he was drifting which cost him but he ran his heart out there uh and then the louisville thoroughbred society at church over the seven over the six last um september he finished fifth by four and a quarter lengths that day and he did a very very troubled trip that day he hasn't seen the same the winter circle since the st matthews of uh of 2022 at church over the six derby week where he won by two on the front end and he won before that got oaklawn quite nicely on the front end coming here he could definitely win i'll give him a shot here at 20 to one to upset here even the seven horse bango he's a winner of his last time on the thoroughbred society stakes at uh, um, at Churchill. Prior to that, he won the Cali's landing at Church at Ellis in the uh, summer quite nicely. He likes this track. I'll give him a shot here on the ticket. But to recount my selection for the seven from Keeneland, it is the Phoenix. Going to take this three horse Ibelius. Give kudos to the five horse Top Gunner and the seven horse Bango. Three, five, seven, eight, super. Three, five, seven in your multi race. The eighth event now from Keeneland. It is the Jasmine Stakes. It's a great two event going for a $350,000 purse. Race for two year old Phillies. Field of 11 horses going to the turf course. The distance of ground of 1,700 meters or the distance of ground of a mile and 1 16th on the Keeneland turf course.
1700 meters a mile 16th turf course and i show the diagram just gives me a second to look down my notes just bear with me um hopefully this spring because last year uh, excuse me last fall with the brewers cup being in town they couldn't run a lot of turf races on this turf course because they didn't want to eat it up so um hopefully this fall they're going to be able to run more turf races and uh, you know i i hope they do because it should be nice they are running quite a few today uh, but i believe there is a, a chance of rain if i'm not mistaken my top selection, I'm going to go with the one horse smooth waves. I'm going to go 1542 in the Superfecta. 1542 Super. Top selection of one horse smooth waves. Tiro for the by English Channel. Mike Maker trains. Tyler Gaffleone gets to mount. The horse's most recent ad came 10th of September, Kentucky Downs. A mile in the main special weight for just $157,000. He won by nine quarter lengths that day and had a dream tracking trip. He was a little bit wide, but he really took off clear. That was a good, good race there off the, um, you know, the, the nice turnaround. Considered to the race before we ran at uh, Saratoga. Mile 16th in the main special way, 105,000. He finished fifth by two and a quarter lengths that day. And he just kind of stalked all the way around the race course. Oh, there's a deep. It looks like she's going to be a decent horse one that day. Way the risk was the next star winner. And it's hot in here was the next star winner also. This horse just kind of was with him early on. Had to leave for a minute and then just kind of hit the wall late. He, you know, he ran his heart out there. And then mid-June, Almont, six rungs on the inner and a main special weight. He finished fifth by four lengths that day. He was just wide, never showing up. And then on debut, going five at Belmont on Belmont Stakes weekend. He finished fifth by six and a quarter lengths. Another very tough race. And Mr. Wave was the next star winner. Kodiak uh, Wintergreen was the next star winner finished second. This horse was just wide, never getting into it. But he's the kind of horse he's been improving with every single race. He's, he wanted to, to go the routing trip. He finally got in the, th in the third start. He won in the fourth start. Coming here with a good inside post, could be forwardly paced. He could definitely win. I'll use him on the ticket. I think the five horse here, 2B, for um, Graham Motion, Flavian Pratt win. He ran in the Rosie Stakes at Colonial over the five and a half on the 9th of July, where he finished second by three and a quarter lengths that day. And he just stalked that day. He was really gaining well late behind no name. Mets, not a bad race. You know, Grand Motion has decent number of sprint route with 30% of his runners, um, you know, 30% wins here. Um, so coming here today, a little tough competition. I expect this horse to really improve. You know, on debut, he ran five at Laurel on the main track, where he won by eight lengths that day, and he basically put on a show. It was a little bit drifting, but that's because he was a two-year-old and he was out front by a whole lot. But, um, you know, not a bad race after all said and done. He should definitely improve with the two turns. I'll give him a massive shot on the ticket here. And even the four-horse crown imperial for John Ortiz and Ricardo Santana. First time routing. He won going six and a half in the untappable Kentucky Downs quite nicely by open lengths last time out. Uh, and then he got a decent place in the Bolton Landing over the five and a half at Saratoga on a yielding uh, turf course. Coming here, you know, another horse. Watch out for him late. Training well, especially out of all these horses I have in the top three. But to recount my selection for the eighth from Keeneland, it is the Jasmine, the grade two Jasmine. Going to take the one horse, Smooth Waves. Give kudos to the five horse, Tupi, and the uh, four horse, Crown Imperial. One, five, four, two, Super. One, five, four. Uh, 154 in your multi race. There we go. Can't speak. Let's get to the featured ninth race from Keeneland. It is the Alcibiades Stakes. It's a grade one event going for a $600,000 purse race for two year old fillies. We have a field of nine horses going one lap around the Keeneland main track, starting and ending at the 16th pole. The distance of ground is 1,700 meters or a mile 16th on the Keeneland main track. 1,700 meters, a mile 116th in the Alcibiades. My top selection, I'm going to go with the number five horse here, VV's Dream. I'll go 5837 in the Superfecto. 5837 Super. Top selection of five horse, VV's Dreams. Um, I know I've given you in the first two races, I've given you some long shots. This race, I'm giving you a 5 2 shot, but I think you should win. Uh, but VV's Dream, this two year by Matoli. Kenneth McPeak train. Uh, Brian Hernandez Jr. gets the mount. Most recently ran the horse in the Pocahontas over the one turn mile, 16th of September, and he won by eight and three quarter lengths that day, and he had a dream train. Trip that day he was a little bit wide but he destroyed the group of horses home came back with a you know an 88 buy which i think is quite strong first time around two turns could be forwardly paced these, these races going mile 16th here at keelan tend to be horses um having forwardly paced and drawn low which he is i expect him to run well and, and improve off that last race he's also uh, come back since the last race so with a quick turnaround workout four frongs and 47 three six best workout of 85 it was his first race um though at churchill in a little bit second of july was a uh, sophomore effort at ellis six frongs and debutante where he finished second by half length brand bright work that day this horse just kind of stalked him in, uh, in a small horse group but this horse you know he, he ran his heart out behind a decent horse on the day they were, they were flying in that uh, debutante uh, some decent horses even though with the with it being a small field 
And then he ran on debut mid-May at uh, Churchill, going five in the main special way. Went by six and a quarter lengths that day. He didn't break so well, but sent a well after that, a little bit wide. But when he had the turn of foot, he really, you know, took off clear. That was a very good strong run. He's definitely been improving with every single race. Back coming here to two turns, which I think he should do well with. I'm going to ex uh, expect him to run a good race. I think the eight horse here, Emery, should get a good trip and, and win also for Brad Cox and Tyler Gaffleon. On debut at Saratoga on the mud, going six in a main special way, closing week, he won by five and a quarter lengths that day and he basically took off clear a very strong run uh, as a part of an entry you know since the last race he's been training well coming here sprint to route decent numbers for cox you know watch out for this horse he's definitely bred for the trip even the three horse here candied one on debut at saratoga going six a few weeks ago quite nicely closing up from nowhere you know he's been training well in the oklahoma at saratoga if the horse if there's a horse that could pick up some pieces it could be her i'll use her in this uh, pick three shall i say that will play beginning with race number um seven to um to possibly upset here in this uh, very nice Alcibiades this year but to recap my selection for the ninth from Keeneland it's the grade one six hundred thousand dollar Alcibiades gonna take the five horse VV's dream give kudos to the eight horse Emery and the three horse Candide five eight three seven super five eight three in your multi-race so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody